We're going to switch into art this morning and talk specifically about the James Coleman Art Gallery located here on Duval Street. I am a huge fan of this gallery. There is such a diverse set of artists and mediums, so it is so unlikely that you won't find something that you either like or end up falling in love with. They feature works in watercolor, oil, glass, bronze, and just so much more. Elliot, thank you for being with me on the show today. Thank you. It's great having you here because, like I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of mm -hmm. the James Coleman Gallery. Now, is this actually owned by James Coleman? James Coleman actually does not own the gallery. Bill and Karen Weeks of St. Augustine, Florida do. And up there in St. Augustine, they actually own uh, two other galleries, James Coleman Signature Galleries and Crooked Palm Gallery, which uh, they have owned for 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, they actually lived in Key West years ago and decided to expand their business in September 2010, they opened their doors to the second James Coleman Gallery here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And out in Kauai, recently this year, James Coleman opened a third gallery, but it's under different owners. Mm -hmm. But that makes a total of three uh, James Coleman Galleries out here in the United States. Okay. And now let's talk about the environment of the gallery, Elliot. What makes this different than other galleries here in the Keys? Well, um, our goal here, and our staff in the, in the gallery, is to provide a fun and relaxing time to, to shop. We want uh, art to be a, a fun experience mm -hmm. for the buyer. And our, our uh, art consultants, we, um, we're very friendly, enthusiastic, and even accommodating and, uh, and very knowledgeable. Our staff, uh, Angie, Lauren, um, Pat, Dave, mm -hmm. Diana, and myself, um, we don't. We love to, you know, our initial experience. Your initial experience here in the gallery. Um, we want it to be a great time, but it isn't to stop there. Um, we want to build a long-term relationship, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, make you as comfortable as possible. Yes. Then. Well, you guys do that because I've been in the gallery before, and yeah. you do a great job. Yeah, we like to follow up with them and make mm -hmm. sure that any questions, concerns, we're, we're there for the clients with mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. That's the need. Okay. Now, Elliot, let's talk about some of the artists that are featured in the gallery. Obviously, James Coleman is featured. Right. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about James Coleman. He's actually in over 70 galleries worldwide, mm -hmm. but he got a start with Disney about uh, at the age of 17 in 1969, and they worked well into the mid-90s, but he uh, actually worked on over 25 uh, featured films as the background artist creating the beautiful worlds that we all know with the Disney art. Mm -hmm. What movies did he work on? Um, some of the last movies he worked on was Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, which won an Academy Award for animation mm -hmm. and design. Mm -hmm. And he had a part in that? Yes, wow. that was him. Wow. And now he's actually in, he still resides in Southern California with his wife, Lori Coleman, mm -hmm. and uh, he paints each piece from his own imagination and where he takes the viewer into uh, their place, creating a whimsical and relaxing, uh, even a, a magical and mystical environment. Mm -hmm. He so does do that. Our viewers can see some of his paintings behind us. Mm -hmm. And it is, like, well, right here is one behind us right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful scene. Yes. Beautiful scene. All right, who are some of the other featured yeah. artists? Philip Anthony, um, he's actually uh, from Idaho originally, but he's out of Orlando, Florida now. Mm -hmm. He's uh, self-taught, been only painting since 2005. He paints in a monochromatic, grayscale, and uh, he's really drawn to uh, oceanscapes, sunsets, and the moon. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he does a really great job in very photorealistic style. Mm -hmm. um, he's uh, really uh, been taking off recently, the past few years. Um, he's been doing great, yes. great work. Our viewers can also see yeah, he's about right behind us. 12 galleries now, mm -hmm. creating a very large, loyal um, collector base since his first uh, debut. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I know you have to have some women artists in there, right? Yes, do we do. We have, a wide, we have a wide range of okay. artists, about 16 different artists in our gallery. Okay. Okay. Um, one of our ar other artists that we have, uh, Nano Lopez, mm -hmm. he he's a bronze sculptor. He's originally from uh, Columbia, um, Bogota. Now he's in Walla Walla, Washington. Okay. And he's a very uh, well-known, internationally collected bronze sculptor, um, creating the whimsical uh, animal collection. Mm -hmm. And uh, each sculptor comes alive with bright colors, uh, stories, and names. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually will study the animal and their behavior and their anatomy prior to um, his sculpture, making them very, making them very photorealistic. And um, despite their actual um, unusual detail and, and colors. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it does take them between four and six months for each bronze, you know, quite a, a long period of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, a lot of work goes yes, into it. Yeah, and very limited edition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, what about some of the fish that I've seen behind me? Who are those created by? Chris Wallaceak. Okay. Yeah, he does some great work. He's uh, out of. He comes from Orlando, Florida, with his brightly hot rod colored fiberglass mm -hmm. uh, marine life that mm -hmm. he does. Um, he's been, uh, he's originally from New York City. He's been in airbrush and uh, high-end automotive paints for well over 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, recently he's been doing so well uh, where he's in uh, over six galleries. He's um, been very popular in the gallery. He, mm -hmm. he has uh, these white glow-in-the-dark pieces that become very popular mm -hmm. and I, I really love those pieces. You turn out the, the lights and just, uh, you see it's like the fish are swimming through the, the deep abyss of the ocean. Mm -hmm. But he, he works with any, any size, any fish, shark, ray. Um, our gallery displays anywhere from a 36 inch Mako to an 84 inch hammerhead full uh, suspension piece actually hangs right from the ceiling. It's beautiful. Everybody needs to check it out and see this. I actually saw him working in the gallery when I was there mm -hmm. last, so it yeah. was very interesting to see him at work. Now, tell our viewers where you're located at, Elliot. Um, we are uh, right off of Duval. Mm -hmm. um, in perfect location. Yes. And the number is on the bottom of the screen along yes. with the website. So please check them out whenever you can. They're open seven days a week. Yeah, we're on the corner of Southern and Duval. And mm -hmm. we're open from 10 to 10 and on the weekends uh, as late as 11 o'clock. Great. Well, thank you for being back on. We're definitely going to do more with your gallery and have some more of the artists on. Oh, thank you so you much. Guys, you guys have the best. I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.